Today, we explore fun ways you can improve outside of the game. Everything from exercise, sleep, developing solid systems and habits to get the most out of your time gaming. Now, whether you're a student or a working professional, it can be really hard to find time these days to put in solid practice for your competitive game of choice, let alone making sure that the time you spend is worth it and that you're getting the most out of it. Exercise, diet, and sleep have such a massive impact on your performance mentally that it's kind of crazy and it's really cool. There's a lot of experiments going on right now in the gaming space that showcase the mental improvements and performance benefits to exercising right, sleeping well, and having the best diet. Now in the background, you guys, it is going to be like BTB footage. I'm taking a little chill pill over on Ranked. Once I hit Onyx, I'm kind of hoping for a stability patch because I'm a little bit tired of the game crashing. So I wanted to mix it up and put a little social in the background. Shifting gears, a very cool study was done in 2020 that showed that just 15 minutes of cardiovascular exercise immediately before a gaming session improved the performance of a player. Essentially, a really neat study happened where the researchers built a custom League of Legends task that measured the capacity to eliminate targets as well as player accuracy. And they saw with two groups, those who didn't exercise and those who did 15 minutes of exercise, a 17% improvement in the players who did 15 minutes of cardiovascular exercise prior to the test. It was a short bout of intense cardiovascular exercise prior to this lull task that they were measuring. And it's really cool to see a direct benefit of exercise to gaming. I will say this till I'm blue in the face. When you are exercising, not only do you feel better, but your brain just works so much better. And it will help with tilt. It will help with so many aspects of your life. And Hey, it's easy to forget to exercise. It's a very busy time right now. And I flip flop all the time in and out of a good routine and then getting lax and forgetting, you know, my regular scheduled stuff. And before you know it, a month's gone by and you feel sour and angry and you're not as sharp as you could be. Exercising can be a big benefit for all aspects of your life and not just gaming. Speaking of which, sleep. Tons of great research has shown that if you're getting the right amount of sleep, you will have so many positive benefits. If you're getting less than eight hours, it's shown that you can have increased food cravings, increased fatigue, less energy for tasks, the immune system suffers, and it also decreases your ability to pay attention and the short-term memory deteriorates. Like consistently bad sleeping habits can lead to long-term memory problems too and difficulty in decision-making. When you hit eight hours of sleep a night, you have so many positive benefits like reduced stress, improved concentration. It can help regulate your mood. It helps with learning. So if you're trying to learn like a new map or something, having a good sleep schedule can be crucial to this. Outside of it, if you're exercising and sleeping right, you can build muscle more effectively and repair injuries a lot faster. Everybody's got a lot of stress going on in their real life right now. I think that can just be said without any question. And if you're not sleeping properly or exercising, you're bringing stress into your gaming sessions that pretty much block your ability to improve as quickly as you could. Which shifts us into the next part of the video, clearing out your mental RAM and developing a system that allows you to just focus on the game at hand when you're practicing, instead of trying to remember if a paper is due or if you missed an email from a coworker or whatnot. Throughout the day, whether you're a student or a professional, there are tasks that will come into your mind that you will want to remember. And for most of us, we just say, okay, I should remember that. And all of a sudden it just occupies a space in our mind where we're continually kind of feeling guilty about something we might be forgetting instead of utilizing a system that writes that thought down in a way that you can review and be accountable for. There's a really cool app called Todoist that's basically just a checklist app. Whether you're using like Google Drive or Notes or Todoist or Notion, there's so many different ways to do it. But across the productivity space right now, there's so many ways that you can utilize systems to get all of that mental RAM, that stuff that's just taking up processing power in your brain, put it on paper, and then be able to focus deeply on important tasks instead of continually trying to remember stuff that you're forgetting. For the student example, let's say you're in college. Every single week, you are getting assignments and tasks from the professors or the courses, whether that be reading or writing or doing an assessment. They are all big things that you're having to remember, and they stack one on top of the other. If you don't have a good system of writing those things down and then getting out of your head, you're going to overflow. Your brain is gonna reach a point where it literally cannot keep track of all the stuff you're telling yourself that you need to remember. When you write down immediately these tasks, thoughts, or obligations, essentially, the mental obligations you assign yourself, you free up so much brain power to focus deeply on the tasks at hand. It's really hard to focus intently on something 
when you've got 18 different thoughts or little guilt moments in your brain kind of telling you, hey, you're forgetting to pick up milk from the store or hey, this assignment is due on this day or hey, remember to reply to this email. I encounter this all the time and I know professionals do. Everybody has an email and you're continually getting messages from other people. It's not necessarily the most productive thing to ensure that you're replying to every email as soon as it comes in. That's very disruptive to work. That's disruptive to meaningful quality work. Whereas if you actually start writing down, hey, I need to message back this person from the office about this question, and you schedule that time to respond to those emails or finish those assignments, all of a sudden you have a guilt-free open memory session for whatever you want to do. And this is a habit that will change your life. I promise you guys this. If you really want to learn more, there's lots and lots of productivity videos about it. The book Deep Work by Cal Newport is all about this. And it's really awesome and can totally shape and change so many different aspects of your life. So I know I talked a bunch there, but in summary, essentially you want to sleep well, you want to eat well, you want to exercise, and you want to develop a system that helps you manage your day-to-day -day and week-to-week tasks. This will give you the opportunity to set aside your practice time or play time, however you want to view it, and intently focus on that when it is time to play. Instead of trying to practice two hours, getting interrupted by a phone call or emails or stopping halfway to do XYZ, you know that you're giving yourself two hours to just focus on practicing ranked and playing those games and giving it your full focus. You're clearing space out of your head and any of that mental guilt or clout that's just basically making it harder to do the activity at hand, you're releasing it, you're freeing it up so you can be very much working on meaningful growth and improvement. And that brings me to the very final thing here. Doing all this stuff is a lot. And for most, it is stepping outside of their comfort zone. Our comfort zone is where it's easy to live. We're not asking a lot of ourselves. We're just trying to maintain the status quo, the things that we know we like. But I'm gonna tell you something, you don't grow in your comfort zone. When you step outside of your comfort zone is where growth happens. Improving at any task or skill by utilizing systems and implementing more discipline in your life, well, that is stepping outside of a comfort zone. That is where growth is gonna happen, but it's gonna be hard. I'll be perfectly honest, I have not been hitting eight hours of sleep in a long time, and I know it's impacting my judgment and making some tasks harder than they should be. How do we remedy this? Well, I get stricter with when I go to bed and when I wake up, and I start tracking that. I then have something that's measurable and a level of accountability that I have to stick to in order to grow. From a food standpoint, it's really easy to eat tasty, fun things. I had chili cheese fries yesterday. It was freaking awesome. I loved it. But I knew after I finished eating it, I'm like, I can't do this every day. It didn't make me feel good. I was sluggish afterwards. And it really just, I don't know, was a fun treat, but not something that I could sustain. But shifting to more veggies and fruits in my diet, well, that's going to be hard. It's going to require discipline and effort from me. But I can tell you, without a doubt, that if you implement some of these habits outside of your normal, usual gaming things, your performance will excel and you'll have tons of benefits outside of gaming that will infiltrate all areas of your life. If you want to learn more about some of these cool systems, I will leave a link to Deep Work down in the description below if you guys want to check out the audiobook or the uh, print version of it. I'd also really be curious to know what habits you guys have implemented outside of gaming that have improved your performance within the game. If you could leave that in the comment section down below, I would love to see what you guys are doing that's working well for you. And also let me know if you're a student or a professional and what areas of life or things make it tough to improve at your chosen game. Once again, I just can't thank you guys enough for the support on this tip series. It's been super fun and you guys have been so supportive and I'm loving it. I hope you guys are too. Have a good rest of your day. Click the tip video on the screen for more awesome Halo Infinite stuff and I will see you again in the next video.